guys, this is Vazman, and today I'm at the UCLH Proton Beam Center, and we're going to be putting a time capsule in the ground. Let's go. I'm Richard Murley, chairman of the hospital. It's great to have everybody here. Uh, this amazing site, this huge. Uh, construction facility. So obviously this afternoon we're here to place the time capsule uh, in in the site where I think it's intended to stay for 50 years before being reopened. So I'm going to call up please a list of people and ask them to place their artifact uh, in the um, in, in the capsule. Picture of a heart and a poem and Chloe is currently a patient in the hospital. Next is Debbie, Debbie Holmes, uh, who has a picture again and some text. Here's Debbie. Thank you. Debbie's also on treatment here in the hospital. I'd like to ask uh, Chris Van Talikan, uh to come and say a few words. Uh, Chris. Would, would be living in it 50 years' time. And I realized I'd written a list of anxieties and concerns. I think they even mentioned robot policemen at one point. And uh, when I looked at what the children had generated, it was lists of hopes and optimism. And I think that's what this building represents for me. Um, I'll stop talking. It's a huge, it's a huge heart out And I'm going to put my uh, anatomically incorrect heart and list of more optimistic thoughts that I did with the kids' hope and not generating in the time capsule. I've got a copy uh, to put in the capsule of my maiden speech in the House of Commons. And I've chosen that for three reasons. Firstly, because it talks about the local area, uh, and particularly about the work of my predecessor, who was for 35 years uh, the MP here, and a great supporter of the hospital. Secondly, because I delivered it at just about the time the ground was being broken here, uh, when this building work started. 